As a retired marketing executive, Thomas Scribner has made lasting contributions to the plastics industry, and his legacy is one of hard work and dedication. He started out at the University of Toledo, where he graduated with a Bachelor of Science in 1959. Mr. Scribner was always a diligent student, and his wife recalls that he would often leave testing facilities before any of the other students had handed in their work. Mr. Scribner's scholarly attitude would bear fruit when it came time to attend school. His family was not wealthy, and he was therefore obligated to work in order to put himself through school while the United States was waging the Korean War. Though his family could not provide much in the way of financial backing, they were nevertheless integral to his success. His mother, whom Scribner recalls fondly as a nursing sort of woman, provided key moral support. His father, a railroad worker, provided his son with a template of hard work and commitment that stayed with him to this day. After earning his undergraduate degree, Mr. Scribner considered careers in law and medicine, but ultimately he made the decision to enter into the field of plastics research. He was hired by Owens, Illinois Incorporated, a prominent glass bottle manufacturer. Mr. Scribner knew that developments in plastic manufacturing would eventually make glass bottles obsolete, a revelation that made his employers uncomfortable. He continued with his research, however, and eventually developed the theory and practice of clear plastic containers, which he considers to be his crowning achievement. He was proud to be a pioneer of a burgeoning industry. In the 1960s, Mr. Scribner had revolutionized the way beverages were packaged. He first started working on the potentially dangerous and costly problem of broken glass in beverage products, with the goal of developing packaging that looked much like glass, but was made of a polymer that did not break as easily. Polymer plastic products were also much more lightweight to carry. From his original theories and testing, the world has been able to benefit from plastic pop bottles, milk containers, and other various containers. Mr. Scribner ultimately made households much safer for families by developing this durable packaging product. Mr. Scribner's role with Owens, Illinois lasted for 20 years before he decided to switch gears and become a purchasing manager with A.C. Ledbetter & Sons for another 20 years. Apart from work, Mr. Scribner is a member of the Free and Accepted Masons, and he is also a member of American Mensa. Family is very important to Mr. Scribner. He was always close to his wife, Vada, whom he has known since they attended the fifth grade together. He has warm relations with his brothers and sister, and he is adored by all of his nieces and nephews. Mr. Scribner hopes to leave his legacy to his three grandchildren, H. Travis, G. Blake, and J. Ethan. It is his hope that the lessons that he has learned will be passed on to the younger generation and that they may aspire to reach the same heights that he himself has attained.